you have all the source code of this project inside the description. Okay, so we have created a brand new project. Inside the popspec.yalm, we can add those four dependencies. So the Firebase Auth, the core, the sign-in with Google and the provider. Next, inside the main, what we will do is remove everything because this is mm, and then we will add this import. We will have also the main, but with the future void before, be sure to add this. Then we will add the uh, my app stateless that will return a provider uh, with a stream provider that will have the Firebase auth dot instance dot auth changes. Inside the child of this provider, we will have the material app with the widget tree. As you can see, we will need to add this widget tree dot dart class. We import those three inside this one. We had the widget tree class and in the build, we will have a variable user uh, bring by the provider. So like this, and then we will say if the user is null, then we will call the login page. Otherwise we will call the home page. Okay. And now we have the widget tree uh, class. We can go inside the main and in the main, we will right click quick fix and add the widget tree. Be sure to add this. Perfect. This is good. The first part is done. Next step. Next step. We need to have the login page and the home page inside our library. So we will have the login page and then the home page. After inside the home page, we will have the uh, importation of the material. Then we have our class homepage that have a scaffold, uh, app bar, and in the app bar, we will call the homepage. Inside the body, we have a raised button called it logout that will call the sign out function. This sign out function will be a future void and it will call the authentication dot sign out. Congratulations. You have finished the homepage. Let's continue. Yes, I have right authentication. It's because I am a French person and I say authentication. Je mange des croissants. Next in the login page, we will do the same thing, but the app bar will be called the login page and the button will be called the login with Google. We will have the function sign in with Google, call it by the authentication or authentication that sign in with Google. In the widget tree, now we can uh, call the login and the home page because we have created both of them. And congrats, because you have now created your login page. You are a hacker. And now we will need to create the authentication.dart. Inside this one, we will import the Firebase auth and the Google sign in. We will call the class sign uh, authentication. And then inside this one, we will have the sign out future. In the sign out future, we will await and call the Firebase auth dot sign out. And we will call as well the Google sign in dot sign out because we need to sign out for, from both of them. Next, inside the sign in with Google, we will call the Google user by saying Google sign in dot sign in. And if the Google user is not null, then we will say uh, the Google user dot authentication. We will call the ID. If the ID is not null, then we will call the user credential and we will await the sign in with credential. To sign in with credential, we will have the Google ad provider dot credential, the ID token and the access token. This will return the user credential dot user. Else, if the Google user is uh, null, what we'll do is we will say throw a Firebase auth exemption. That means if the user changes his mind uh, between the login, so he say, okay, I will log in. Oh, instead, I don't want anymore. I will cancel. This will throw this error. Inside the login page, we can quick fix and import the library authentication and in the home page as well. Good. We are done with all the coding. Now inside the Firebase uh, platform on the web, we will need to create an application for Android. So we will say add an app and we will click on the Android logo. Next, we need this uh, company uh, application ID. To find it, we can go in Android app build.gradle. Right here, if we go down, you will find the application ID. 
This application ID is called by myself the .com.random. You may have something called the example and you will need to change it. So change example for another word. Next, you will need to change this and change at five different places. This is the second place where you need to change it inside the debug. Then inside the main, we have the Android manifest as well. We are at three. In the main activity, you will find one as well. We are at four. And in the profile, the Android manifest, we need to change this one as well, five. Perfect. So you will need to change all of them if you have the dot example. Otherwise, you can just copy this and paste it inside the application ID right here. Next, you will need to have your application name. I will call my application a random stuff app because it's pretty random. And then you will need to add the Shay one key. So if you don't know how to do it, I have a video how to do that, how to find the Shay one key. Next, you will need to go inside the download section, you will download the Google file. After that, you will go back inside your uh, Visual Studio code. We will quickly change this 16 minimum SDK version for 21 instead, because this will solve some bug later. And after, we will drag and drop our file inside the app folder. As you can see, we have it right here. After we come back inside our Google and we go down on the third uh, section. On the third section, we will copy the green line, so the class path, and we will need to paste it inside the Android build.gradle. Okay, right here inside class path, you just paste that. Next, if we go down, we need to copy those three. The first one is already inside our project. Then you can copy the .google. We go inside the Android app and this build.gradle. Now we can copy this one as well. As you can see, the first one was the com Android application. We have already this one. After the last uh, line, so the last green line, we need to copy this one and we will paste it at the end of this file where it is the implementation. Good. Now we have copy and paste all green line required. We can say next, and then we can continue to the console. Everything has been set up for the Firebase project and the Google authentication need a last step to work. You will go inside authentication, sign in method, and you will enable the Google sign in method. You can add your email like this, and you can change the project name by the name of your project. So I will just say my random application. So my random project, and you will save. Here we go. Everything has been set up for your Flutter Google authentication with Firebase. We can go back inside our application and run everything. So you will say run with uh, whatever, and the application will start. You will refresh if you have some error and magically no more error. Good. You can now click on login with Google. You will enter all your information about your Google account, your password and your user. And then as you can see, you will be login inside the app, just like that. And if you log out now, uh, your application will just be logged out and you could log in once again. And by the way, if you have liked this type of video, you can press this damn sweet Lord golden button it will be so much appreciated.